everybody and welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is mallory and today we're going to get into this ColourPop chasing rainbows palette with a blue eyeshadow look so first i'm going to take the color feeling it and start to blend that into my crease of course my eyelid was already prepped with concealer so it's still kind of tacky and you're just going to blend that in second the color i'm going to use is bring it and i'm going to put that right on my crease with a blending brush and start to blend that into the feeling it color when using blue eyeshadow you really have to take your time blending so definitely take your time whenever i blend these two colors i'm alternating between the color feeling it and the color bring it so right here i'm using feeling it and then i'm going to go back to use the color bring it just so that they get us a really good blend but it still maintains the same color after getting that crease color really well blended then i'm going to take the color prism and start to pack that on to smoke out this look since we're doing a halo eye, you want to make sure you can get that prism all around your eyelid. Yes, we're going to cut the crease out a little bit, but you want to make sure that you get it in the inner corners and your outer corners because that color is still going to be there. Now with these two colors, the prism and the blue that was already in the crease, I'm going to go back and, and alternate them to make sure that I got a really good blend. If you don't blend like crazy, when you have blue eyeshadow, then you look crazy. So you might want to take the time and blend it. After you're satisfied with your blend, then you're going to start to cut out the middle of your eyelid, the crease, to create that halo effect. You could just put the eyeshadow on top, but I like to cut out the crease because I like it to look really sharp in the middle. So you're going to cut it, but only in the middle, not all the way to the edge. Once I'm done doing that, I'm going to take the color Eclipse and start to pack that on my lid. The pigment on this palette is like extremely good so you don't need a lot I think I only patted in there like a couple times and then started patting this color on there as long as the concealer is still tacky you get a really good stick and really good pigment out of it after doing that I'm gonna take a small eyeshadow brush and take the color on one and put that on the outside of that Eclipse color on both sides to blend that into the blue and but still keep it really shimmery in the middle now while the translucent baking powder is setting on my face, that's what that white stuff is, I'm going to take the color on one and start to smudge that underneath my eye to give it a really, really smoky look. After the color on one, I'm going to take the color bring it and put that right underneath that underneath my eyes. So to break up some of that blue, I took the color Eclipse and put it in my inner corners. And off camera, I added lashes and black to my lower lash line. And that is how the look ended up looking like. This is the end result. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is the end of this tutorial. And you will see me in the next video.